With that preamble, let us begin with Light Bubble. These are the quasars now coming at us. Now you can start to see clusters and superclusters of galaxies. Notice the filamental structure with these giant voids. Each dot is a galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars. And the big nearby superclusters are color coded. And our own supercluster, the Virgo supercluster, is coming at us now as a red blob. That's where we live in that red blob. And now you can see the halo of dark matter surrounding our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Now you can see the spiral arms of our own Milky Way galaxy. We're coming home. And here's the position of our own sun in the Orion spiral arm. And that spider shape is
as the familiar constellations stretched into unfamiliar forms because we're seeing them from the other side of the sky. But as we approach, you'll notice them turn into the familiar constellations. Each one of those blue jacks is an exoplanet. These are the positions of the planets we've discovered around other stars. Now you can see the sun. It's surrounded by a sphere of comets, a giant sphere of a trillion comets surrounding our sun, the Oort cloud. A whole light year across. Now we're entering into the Oort cloud. This is the farthest fringe of our own solar system. And it actually extends about a third of the way to the nearest stars. A trillion comets, more comets than there are stars in the galaxy, drift in the far reaches surrounding our sun. So that was light bubble. And now, here we are amongst the Oort cloud of comets. Every once in a while, one of these comets decides to plunge in close to our star, and we see it as a bright comet with a tail, sometimes quite spectacular in our skies. But meanwhile, there's a trillion of them in cold storage, way out here, a light year from the sun. So for this next movement, we're gonna continue our journey and we're gonna go on a trip to the sun. We're gonna enter into our solar system. From the Oort cloud, we'll, we'll pass by the Kuiper belt, the flattened disk of comets that surrounds the planetary part of the solar system. And then we'll travel through the Kuiper belt and then we'll enter into the familiar planetary zone. And we'll pass all the good old planets Neptune, Uranus, Saturn and its beautiful rings and moons, Jupiter and its extraordinary system of moons. Then we'll cruise through the asteroid belt and we'll show you the actual orbits of all the known asteroids and their somewhat scattershot orbits around the sun. And then we'll enter into the, the rocky, rocky planetary region and we'll pass Mars, Earth, and we'll cruise by Venus and Mercury and then we'll end up at the sun and we'll spend a little bit of time grooving on some beautiful imagery of our sun and then we're going to show you some images representing the origin of the earth and the giant collision that created the moon when, when a Mars-sized object smashed into the earth and created the moon very early in the earth's history and finally we'll show you some animations of, of the Paleo Earth, some animations of uh, continental drift a long time ago before we had our present day continents. So we'll, uh, we'll end up on the Earth and let us begin this trip to the sun. <laughs> 